tackling the problem of paying pensions to dead retirees. That's what city leaders gather to do today. An internal audit released at the end of June showed the city lost tens of thousands of dollars to the dead. It's the latest update on our own KSLA News 12 investigation. KSLA News 12's investigative reporter Nick Lawton joins us now in the studio. Nick, you comb through that audit. What did city leaders tell you they're doing to fix the problem? Well, Marie, after our investigation first reported the results of this audit, the City Council's Audit and Finance Committee met this afternoon. We were the only cameras inside that meeting. As city leaders told us, they're close to getting all of those thousands in taxpayer dollars back. We first showed you the Shreveport internal audit released to city leaders at the end of June, showing the city lost tens of thousands of dollars in pensions paid to the dead. On Thursday, city leaders met in their audit and finance committee to talk about the next step. According to that audit, one person who died in April 2015 received pension payments until this past February, nearly two years, along with seven other dead pensioners in that time. We calculated that financial cost to the city uh, because of those improper payments was about $26,800, close to $27,000. Not only that, city internal auditors also discovered 22 listings on Shreveport's pension payroll did not match Social Security records, which could have brought fines from the IRS. And that could possibly generate a fine of over $4,000. We asked city leaders where those dollars to the dead came from. Were they funded by taxpayers? Well, salaries, are, everything's funded by taxpayers. I mean, everything, everything that, that, that the city does is funded by taxpayers. Chief Administrative Officer Brian Crawford says some of these payments went to the dead retirees' families. Some of those individuals that were getting paid, it just wasn't a transfer over to the beneficiary, which was the spouse. In some cases, it was the wife. That benefit reverted to the widow, and we didn't want them doing without funds for 30 days while we did some administrative work. The individuals that were overpaid have been cooperative in returning those funds, so I expect those to be returned in the next 30 days. Now, Chief Administrative Officer Crawford also told us they now have new measures in place to make sure this does not happen again, including checking and verifying every active pensioner through the Social Security number verification system, as well as checking obituaries and with family members. You can read the full story yourself right now on KSLA.com. I'm Nick Lawton. Marie, back to you.